Okay, and we are live right now. Yay! Um, uh, hello, Marlena. You are again the first one to to join us. Hi, and uh, hello to everybody that is with us today. Uh, in the next hour or so, maybe hour and a half. I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, I want you to take the time to work on a on a project that I've started, and um, the project is I started on the last live stream. Um, I had an idea to do all the moon phases. Oh, hello, Victor. Hi. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I, I haven't even asked where everybody can hear me. <laughs> hello. Uh, so there was this uh, awesome project where I wanted to do all the moon phases. And each moon phase, I wanted to have a different flower. So um, actually, after the previous live stream where I was just sketching, uh, I went ahead and I actually did four of the nine uh, pieces so I'm going to show them to you now and then today we're just going to paint the first one which is the full moon with the magnolia flower by the way now we have magnolia season so uh, we do here good okay good so let me show you so this is the one with the magnolia flowers um, and this is my style of magnolia flowers of course there's many styles but you know um, and this is going to be the full moon and this is the only thing that we're going to design it, it's not going to be the background because we're going to cut it out anyway um, but I wanted to start with the full moon okay I'm going to show you the other ones so I made four in total um, this is the first one uh, it's a more skinnier moon uh, you can see that my cat sat on it so yeah yay <laughs> Um, and uh, these are just like uh, kind of like uh, margaritas or um, anyway, there's flowers with many leaves, uh, many petals. I have no idea how to call them. I forgot. Sorry in English. <laughs> uh, you can see here that I left the circle in pencil because theoretically this is going to be the moon uh, here. And this part is going to be the sky, and that's the only thing that's going to be colored in. So, you know, that's why I left that one as a guideline. Um, I made another one, and this is a, a rose. It's called Rosa Moesi. Uh, and it was one of the sketches that I did. This is even a skinnier moon. So this is like the first phase of the moon, like super skinny moon. Uh, this is the rose with some rose buds and some other roses. And these are special roses because the petals look like little hearts, right? So this one of one nice one um, and this is a bit of a more um, maybe delicate one this is the primrose um, and uh, I've done I've done a different design because this is going to be this part is gonna be the moon and this part is gonna be the black so it's gonna be like the moon before the full moon okay and uh, I know that in the in the black and white it looks strange, but imagine this part is going to be the darker blue and this is going to be where the moon is, right? This is how it sees. And I've made the design with the flowers across it like this. So, you know, these are these are the designs so far. I am planning to make all the designs. Um, I just had time only for four for now. Um, but I'll make all nine. And this is why I'm making them is because I, I really want to have some nice prints. Uh, for my website. So, with all that uh, ahead, you guys are still with me, I'm hoping. Uh, so, we're going to start. And I first have to clean my, my paper. My, my cat sat on it, so it's full of cat hair. Uh, what colors have I decided to use? I'm going to use um, the Schmincke Super Granulating Colors. And uh, I, I made a small uh, swatch here. I only have three of the sets, so I don't have all the sets, but I have like the galaxy set and the green set and um, the nice yellows here. And for the red, I still haven't received my proper reds that I, I ordered, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my uh, graphite tint uh, set for the reds uh, because this is a very beautiful red. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit of red, right, and a little bit of the pink. And then, uh, worst case scenario, I have my Boku Undo uh, uh, set, which is my Japanese set, so I'm going to use some stuff from here. So these are like the colors that I'm using, I'm not using my normal regular watercolors. Uh, the brushes I have are um, a, a 
couple of Escoda brushes and I have two series. Uh, one is Escoda Versatile which is a little bit bigger and holds more water and the other ones are Escoda Prado which have a very uh, sharp um, point right and these are are the two types of brushes that I'm going to use especially uh, some things are more delicate than others so I need to be very careful okay um, I taped my design to a board because I don't want it to curl um, and it's easier for me to utilize okay so let's get started it's five minutes in don't worry we're not gonna hurry it um, I want the flowers to be super delicate so we're gonna build it layer by layer and magnolias usually have they're usually pink but they have tints of yellow in them so this is what we're gonna try to recreate right um, so anyway I'm gonna start and I'm gonna use my number four round brush uh, just to start and I'm gonna start with the flowers and I'm going to wet my brush and then I'm gonna make some puddles of of color onto my tiny palette here okay um, so uh, again middle of the week this is Wednesday <laughs> so it has been a very busy week we actually got um, a lot of the products uh, the sample products from different um, different leveranciers or how do you call them <laughs> different suppliers and actually we've decided on uh, which supplier is going to do the prints and which suppliers is going to be um, doing everything else so um, yay and um, we actually managed to open the Etsy shop for those who don't know um, I haven't put yet the link up it only has one product for now, a digital download, but uh, we're soon going to, uh, w once we have all our orders, um, because now we just order samples, but we want to order everything. Um, we're going to make the shop um, and we're going to launch it. So it's going to be on Etsy. But, uh, you know, I've worked uh, this weekend uh, um, on the logo and the full page logo and and things so yeah this is uh starting to get really excited so i am i am adding some water okay let's see how this mix i'm um, going to start with this okay and i'm going to come in here this is a more muted pink okay this is not very in your face pink like um, my palette usually is much more muted colors so I will not do things that are looking super bright okay um, because this is how I like things um, and I, I like to keep it that way by the way this pink from um, the galaxy set is actually a combination of of colors that you might have on your own uh, which is potter's pink it's one of my favorite pinks um, and a little bit of darker color so um, definitely you can read on the website of Schminke and um, figure out which colors did they use and if you have those colors then you can most probably mix your own color and this is how I'm gonna you see how I'm gonna do it um, towards the towards the branch here is gonna be more yellow and then we're gonna just have the nice pinks kind of playing into each other so the uh, watercolor paper I'm using is Arches called cold press watercolor and I have a block that is 20 by 20 so it's a square block um, I like how delicate this makes this flower. Uh, we're gonna darken some parts um, after the first layer dries. Um, we always have to take care that the first layer always dries. Okay. What else did we do in the weekend? Um, it was a pretty, let's say, a bit more relaxed weekend. And also, Monday we had. Um, I actually took free from work Monday uh, because. Um, Believe it or not, it was my mother's birthdays. 
both my mom so mom hi happy birthday again and the other mom hi happy birthday i know that you, you both are watching so um uh and uh they uh they visit visited us and you know we we ate lots of cake so basically sunday i did a lot of cake and uh we ate it all on Monday, and I I think I ate way too much cake. <laughs> I think this is the reality of it, and um, I got a bit, uh, uh, let's say, upset stomach, but you know, happens. Um, next time I won't eat that much cake. No, I regret nothing. It was chocolate cake, and I regret nothing. Okay, <laughs> I never will regret chocolate cake. <laughs> No matter what happens, <laughs> this is the truth, okay? Uh, this is just the first layer, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just do the first layer. Um, then what else happened? I talked to a lot of people today. I had a day full of meetings, to be honest, and I've been talking non stop, <laughs> so oh hi. <laughs> Marlena I heard um the happy birthday <laughs> um yeah Wednesday is usually full of meetings for me so I actually had meetings even during lunchtime I didn't really have time to um play around with almost anything so uh yeah this morning I just prepared for those meetings so usually sometimes when I when I'm f more free in the morning, I would uh, just do a drawing. Uh, this time wasn't possible because, well, I I had to prepare for so many meetings today. So, um, I was still lucky that I did these drawings immediately after the previous live stream. Um, I stayed up till late because I had the sketches done, right? So, once I have the sketches done, then at least I know what I need to do. And I just I just drew them in a couple of hours. So, um, because I kind of knew that this week is going to be a very full week with meetings and with, with everything that has been going on. Uh, so I just, I just am glad that I took the time in the weekend to finalize this. Um, I'm going to make some things more darker now. And that's okay. And maybe I'll add some different colors as well. Maybe some red in it. It needs a bit of zazz. But um, let's see. Like this part, this uh, part of the petal is folded. So then the part underneath is darker. So this is what I'm trying to achieve here. Because you wanna you wanna give the illusion of the three D. So this is how I do it. Um, yeah, one thing I did, um, I'm very happy with the Schmincke colors and I actually ordered a second set. Um, these are limited edition colors. So um, if you want them, I think you would need to go and uh, make your purchase because they're not going to make them again. So I already had trouble finding a second set from the Tundra, which has the yellow. Um, so I would suggest that if you want to see them or use them, just buy them because, you know, limited edition means they're not going to make it anymore. So, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. They're really nice and uh, super granulating. It's going to look really nice in the end when it's going to dry because it's going to have this texture to it that not a lot of paints have. So that's why I liked it. And um, secondly, the colors are very muted, which plays very well within my style. So I have uh, my style is pretty muted colors. All the colors that I use are muted. So, 
yeah, this is why I did it. Uh, what other cool things happened? Um, since last we spoke, my cats have been a little bit crazy. They've been fighting and then making up and then fighting again. I think they are in this phase where everything goes. <laughs> so uh, it's sometimes funny to see how they fight and then you try to break them up and then the next minute they're best buds. I don't know. If you if you have cats, let me know if the experience is similar. <laughs> because I have no idea. Okay. Um, and today, for some reason, my cat is sleeping there on his on his kitty cat uh, scratching uh, thingy. So I'm not gonna bother him. Like I'm trying to to work right now until he realizes that I'm working and he comes to bother me. <laughs> okay, this is the first flower. I'm just gonna leave it alone because I wanna see how it looks like when it dries. And then we're gonna start working on these other ones. The middle of the flowers is usually brown, but I'm going to do the middle of the flower a bit later on. So um, I'm just gonna do the centers. And this is called the uh, Tundra Tundra Orange, and it's a very muted orange. So, if you were wondering what color this is, it's Tundra Orange, and I'm putting it down, and then I'm going to add a little bit of the other yellow, uh, just to have some contrast. And the other yellow is the Nickel Azo yellow from Daniel Smith. Um, I've been trying very hard for quite a while now to find the perfect um, yellow. So this one, now the question comes, should I do a slightly different uh, pinkish? Uh, yes, we're gonna do this Tundra Rose. I don't want them I don't want them to be all the same colors. Um, so we're gonna do this color here. And it's okay. It's gonna be more towards violet than the other color. That's fine. It's gonna look nice. Um, I still haven't decided on the moon, so the moon, it's a full moon, so it can be done with grays and blues, or we can decide to do it like, like the yellow. The reason why I would go for the yellow is because, um, to be honest, you have the yellow in the flowers, so that, that, will, uh, that will look good on its own. So you can see that this uh, Tundra Violet has tints of blue in it. That's because there's two colors that make it. So oh, that's why it has tints of blue. And we're going to spread it around and then we're going to darken it. And you can already see how much granulation you get with this color. This is so amazing. Um, because it's also granulating and because it's also going, not going in the paper, let's put it this way, you can also lift it very nicely from the paper. And this is what I'm doing. I'm lifting and I am making sure that the colors blend very well within each other. Okay. Um, this is more of a back petal and should be more darker because it's in the back. So I'm going to add a slightly different consistency for the back petal. And we're going to spread things around. I'm just going to enjoy um, the granulation that these colors have. So fun. It's really so fun. And then the 
other one I'm going to try with um I'm going to maybe try from the graphite with the uh, with the last one. Okay. This petal is also in the back. So I'm going to try to make it much darker. I put quite some water, so I need to let it a little bit dry before I try. But you can see the the blue tint. The blue tint is like the most beautiful part of it all. And I'm going to do this this back petal that is the continuation of the petal behind it. I'm gonna have to do it like this. So I think the moon will look nice with some yellow and some darker yellows and, and uh, different colors. Um, how is everybody? <laughs> you guys like it? I really like magnolia is such a delicate flower that I'm, I'm really taking my time here. And this is uh, trying to make sure that I don't mess it up. And this, this petal is going to be behind, so I'm going to make it much darker, right, later on. This is going to be behind, it's going to be much darker, and this, and, and these ones are going to be much lighter. So you're playing, you're making it 3D by doing things <laughs> a little bit different. Um, the last one. The last one. Should I try? So... Um, I can try the Galaxy Violet here. This doesn't have that much. So this is much more bluish, which is okay. It's nice. It's a bluish violet. And I'm going to add a slight bit of yellow to these parts here. Because it needs a little bit. Um of yellow and then this color needs to be blended out that's right the nice part is when you you touch a blue to a yellow it starts to become green <laughs> basically this is how things go so Let's see how we're going to be able to build this these petals. Okay. This is nice because the middle one has tints of blue, so it kind of it's a middle between the blue and, and this one, right? Then blue, violet, and the other one. So this is why it will work. And then the moon is going to be super nice and yellow behind it. But first things first, let's do this. And then we'll think about how we're going to do the moon. I, I really do want to do the moon like with nice craters and so on. Oh, hi, happy. Did you decide to come and join us? Hmm? How are you? Did you wake up? This is like, this is the end of me being able to work because Happy has arrived. So I'm trying to work as fast as I can. Hopefully he will not, uh, he will not decide to sit. Oh, hi. You guys see him? <laughs> hi, Happy. You can stay there, baby. And then I can talk to you and then... If you promise not to sit on my painting, then that will be okay. He's sitting right in front of me now. So, hoping... I'm hoping this will be okay. <laughs> okay. He just decided, like, hey, mommy's doing something there, so I'm just going to come and check it out. He's a, he's a sweetie like this. 
Hi. Yeah, now he's trying to play with my paper there. I also have my uh, sketchbook there, so he's uh, kind of sitting on my sketchbook. And now he's going to play with my my brushes. <laughs> Hi, Happy. Please don't eat my brushes. If you eat my brushes, then I have to buy new ones. Yeah. Please don't eat my brushes. They're important brushes, Happy. Very important brushes, okay? <laughs> you gotta run away with them. Oh, I can't. <laughs> You're seeing, like, I need to keep the brush in my hand because he's gonna eat them. Happy, don't eat my brushes. This is not, uh, it's not for food. Hi. Yeah, you can sit there. Yeah, you can sit there. Yeah. Just sit there and watch mommy paint, okay? Yeah? Do you guys see? No, you don't see. him sitting right almost on top of it. Um, he's uh, he's going to put the paw soon. He's going to try to pour my painting. It's okay. We just have to be very careful because when he starts pouring stuff, then I make mistakes. This is not... Uh, not a good thing to let him randomly pour things. Hi. We got a uh, we had a good run, right? Until he came. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah, now he's gonna fall asleep, and you know where he's falling asleep on top of all my other paintings that I just showed you, <laughs> because he's like that. Uh, he's such a He's such a sweet cat, but man, you need to be very careful what you do. Okay. Um, I still have some on uh, two of them, so I'm gonna use the previous um, for this one. I'm gonna use the previous pink and uh, build this one. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna inch forward. Sort of say, and have some fun here. <laughs> oh, he's gonna start playing with the paint soon. Yeah, he's destroying my my paint tower. Too bad. Hey, happy. What is going on? Is mommy not playing with you enough? Is that it? You came here to complain to the people of the internet that mommy is not playing with you enough. <laughs> He's such a sweet boy. Mommy was in meetings the whole day and mommy didn't play with you. Yeah, he was trying to get my attention this morning. And then he, he started working on my uh, keyboard at work and then started sending messages in Slack to all sorts of people. Like random messages. <laughs> and then people were a bit worried about me. And they're like, what's going on? And I was like, yeah, it's not, not me. It's my cat. And they're like, yeah, sure, sure. Blame the cat. That's how it always goes. The cat ate my homework. And the cat is doing X, Y, Z. It's always fun. When he goes online, basically. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring in a little bit of the I'm trying to tie in the colors together so this blue needs a little bit of the purple just to have a cohesive design okay and then we're gonna do a little bit here the initial one just to do this one in the back I'm gonna tie it even more okay 
gonna use a little bit of the yellow here and then I'm going to blend the colors I think this is the most important part blending of the colors yep. okay that's one so now I think the middle one kind of uh, dried out so um, I'm just going to uh, deepen some of the petals okay like the ones that I think are in behind so I'm going to use a much more concentrated value of this petal and now my cat is like you are not paying attention to me enough I'm just going to start playing with the things on your desk <laughs> no <laughs> please don't put your paws on my painting thank you This is the the thing that happens when you're trying to when you're trying to work and you have a pet. Like I guess it will be the same when when you would have a kid or something, right? It it's the same. <laughs> but this time he's a pet. But if you would have a kid, he will probably also require attention. And now he's trying to open the book I have in front of me. Yep. Hi. How are you? Yeah, yeah? You wanna play with mommy? You can play after the live stream is over, yeah? And mommy plays with you. Mommy will bring the toys and then we're gonna play. He really likes, likes certain toys a lot. Okay, um, which one? This one needs a little touch. So you see that um, basically what I'm doing is I'm adding layers. As in, there's not such a thing as a flower that you make from a single layer. It doesn't exist, right? You have to, you have to do multiple layers. So this is how, this is how things go. Uh, let me try to also deepen these colors here. Some colors. I believe that we require a little bit more shadows. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a line of color and then I come in with a clean brush and I, I pull the color around and I blend everything. This is very important, the blending. Hi. Hi. Hi, happy. Yeah, you wanna play with mommy? Oh. Yeah. Why no? Mommy doesn't give you enough attention because you're like you're like here. I'm gonna use this brown here. This is called a galaxy brown. Uh, but it's a nice brown to have to do the central. And this is where we're going to do the center. And we're going to use a little bit of green and brown on to onto the branch. But basically, the middle of the flowers are brown. This is it. The leaves really need to stand out, so I'm going to use like really nice uh, red and greens and, and so on because the leaves I want them to stand out. Um, okay. Which part do I really still have to do? Is this part? Okay, ducky. So I did that. I'm going to deepen some with this yellow. And then I'm going to try to do the branches. And the branches is going to be a combination of this dark yellow, brown, and with tints of green. So 
I'm going to use uh, forest brown as a green. Notice I haven't touched yet the graphite tint. I'm just going to need that for a red, okay? So, yeah, this is how it's going to be. Um, so, I'm going to add this green pretty much in where the buds and everything in these leaves meet, like at the corners. Um, that's where I'm going to add the green. For example, here. And here. And after I add the green, I'm going to start adding this yellow. And then this yellow is going to... Once it's dry, and I need to really mix it up with the green, once it's dry, this yellow, I'm just going to come with the brown and deepen the yellow because the yellow looks a little bit like a brown, but more of a washed out brown, right? And then we need, we need to deepen it with like real brown and so on. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna let these colors mingle and I need a little bit more green. Yeah. They are mingling. If you're hearing somebody purring, it's my cat. My cat is purring like crazy right now. Not much I can do about it. So we're going to use some of this yellow and I'm adding the the darker brown on top of this yellow and it's going to be only on the first side, okay? And I'm realizing that I need uh, this one for here. These are kind of like some flower buds a little bit. Um, that one and this is going to be a leaf so I don't I don't mind. So now let's do the leaves. So the leaves, two things for the leaves. And um, I'm going to do the moon at the end because this really needs a lot of a lot of care and loveliness. So I'm going to deepen this color and add a little bit more yellow. Mm -hmm. That is a more darker color. The contrast is going to be nice with the yellow uh, of the moon. So we're going to see how it is. But the leaves. The leaves I wanted to do with um, forest gray and a little bit of... Uh, Forest gray and uh, some yellow, and then uh, forest blue and some red. So, this is like what I want to achieve. By the way, I haven't changed my brush, I'm still using the 04. I think it's fine. 04 is kind of a medium brush, and it's always, it's always an okay brush to have. So I'm going to go, this is like forest 
gray, gray, not green, but forest gray. And it's a very muted, nice color. And I think it will mix very well with the Azonico. Uh, oh no, this is the Quinacadron Gold. And it will mix very well. Yeah, look at this. So nice. I would even add a smidge of red in the other side. Just for the effect. I want the leaves to really pop, if if that makes any sense. <laughs> I want the leaves to be really nice. And the only way to do that is to mix totally different colors together. And like this is a really nice gold color. And then I'm going to add some red to this side. And it's gonna dry more muted when it's gonna dry, but it's okay. So we were saying that uh, we need forest green, forest blue for this one. This is a forest blue, it's a nice green color. And this I'm going to mix really a lot with. I'm going to make sure that this gets all the way. And in this corner, I'm just going to add red. Okay. This is going to be the red part. And I'm mixing it a little bit together. And a smidge of yellow on the other side. Just to make it a little bit more standing out. I think yep uh, this one again forest blue the funny part on magnolia um, Magnolia trees, they first do the flowers, and then once the flowers passed, the leaves are going to appear. I like the color glow on the branches and the leaves. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? I agree with you. Okay. And I'm going to do again some of this yellow on this other side. I think it's important. We mix things up and make things more interesting. Yeah. Um, and the tiny ones are going to be just the forest olive with just a smidge of blue okay I know I know weird weird leaves but trust me it's we're gonna give it a really nice um, tint it's gonna look really nice dun, dun, dun. my cat has quiet it down and he's having some fun there um, this tiny one forest green again oh I spoke too soon I spoke way too soon what was I thinking <laughs> what was I thinking okay I have this tree these tree leaves here and I'm going to do very similar things here oh hi oh you want just petting oh yes oh you want just petting <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't worry you are putting hair on my piece please don't put hairs on my piece okay 
you can you can stay with your paw like that, but don't move it from there. Okay, I'm gonna do something. Uh, So I'm going to have this piece with the forest green middle and this is gonna be dropped, dragged all around and after we drag the entire thing I'm going to add the red and the yellow on the other side. So we're going to add red on this side. And again, the red is from the graphite inset. And the yellow is going to be the Conacra um, Dome Gold Hue. And it's from Schminke actually. You might wonder why I'm using Schminke and Delineal Smith in the same palette. It's because I think both brands are having their strengths and their weaknesses and I think they complement each other, if you are asking. <laughs> now, hi, hi. No, 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 don't. It's not dry yet, baby. It's not dry. Please don't. Okay. Yeah, you're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's my happy, my happy. Okay, uh, so um, the gray, let's try the gray for this part. Oh, you're going to, <laughs> he's fighting with my hand. I can't, I can't do the leaf here. I'm gonna do the leaf uh, wrongly if he's fighting with my hand. Okay. Uh, dun, dun, dun. So this is the gray part, and this needs the nice yellow. And I'm going to do this yellow here. Yeah, and maybe some of the forest blue on the other side. You can already see how much granulation these colors have. <laughs> Hi, Happy. Are you trying to play with my watercolors? <laughs> Are you trying to play with my watercolors? <laughs> okay, he's sitting. He's sitting. You have to be very careful what you do with, with Happy. These are fun colors to have and fun granulations to have, to be honest. Okay. Hi, Happy. You can hear him purring and he's trying to eat the watercolors. Yes, that's, that's my boy. Eat the watercolors because this is where you shine. Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing even though Happy is in is in here. So it's okay. I think the flowers are pretty much done, unless somebody else uh, has uh, uh, more ideas about what I need to do. And now I really want to utilize this and um, do the moon. So the moon is going to be also in different layers. I'm going to do a base layer, um, probably with the um, uh, nickel as a yellow, and then I'm going to do some darker spots with a kunakanon gold hue, and then with tundra orange. And then I'm going to add some different colors as well to the moon, just as a reflection, okay? Like uh, some pinks and some stuff. And then we're going to do a little bit the craters and, and all of that stuff. So I'm still going to want to use the number four, although I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but let's try. Um, I am picking up a lot of the no 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 I know you like it but don't eat the watercolor and it's not safe 
My hub master would eat anything. He is crazy enough to chew on watercolors and on... I don't know. He randomly finds stuff on the floor and starts chewing on them. And now I'm, I'm being very careful because I want to go around around the flowers and then I'm just gonna add water um, just wanna add water and I'm going to delete a lot so it's gonna be okay only around, around the flowers is gonna be much darker because that's where the shadows leave but all the rest doesn't have to be that dark at least not in the beginning so, um, I didn't tell you what we have decided. So we're gonna go with a with a local supplier because they can actually print my prints on uh, Fabriano and Hallemuel pa paper, which is like super super nice. So that means that we're gonna send all the order. I mean, majority of the orders are gonna send from here from the Netherlands. Um, and we're going to use um, Printful to make the other things that we can't make here locally, which is basically is going to be like things like t-shirts and, um, and other like mugs and email mugs and so on, because those ones, yeah, I don't have the space to and that will be a little bit more difficult to send from here but stickers and prints we're gonna send from here from the netherlands and i'm just going to order a couple and then i'm gonna put them in the shop and this is why i was planning to make this series so that i have some nice prints that i can start with besides all the prints with because i have lots of prints with uh, potions, but maybe potions are not true everybody's liking or preference, right? Potions can be quite um, finicky, so I just want to ensure that I have something for for everybody. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm really going to be very careful. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing here, but I'm really, uh, I'm just, I'm not moving the brush, I'm moving the hand. It's very important in what we do here. Right? And okay. And I need to do the moon underneath here, right? And this is going to be much more darker. And then I'm going to let it dry and add uh, the other layers with the other tints because I need to create some some craters and some different different stuff in there. Um, so this is how I make the moon. And I told you that the contrast is going to be nice and just because these colors go well together. I think it would have been okay to have also a bluish tint with gray, but uh, now that we started on the yellow, I'm just gonna we're just gonna continue like that. Okay. Okay. Um, as you can see, the moon goes around like this, so we're going to. We're going to do this very carefully around it. And these parts are also the moon here. So this is what's going to give it that 3D look. I'm going to do the moon here. And of course the moon is there as well, behind the leaves. So be very careful when you do them. So that the leaves look like they're on top. Okay. So this is the first layer of the moon. I think it still looks really nice. 
um, need to let it a little bit dry and then we're gonna go with the Knackerdom gold hue I'm gonna deepen some stuff and then we're gonna make the craters with the tundra orange um, and now that we're here I'm just gonna try to see whether or not I can add some small reflections here and there see how that looks like if I will add some reflections of uh, the pink okay just makes things a bit more darker but doesn't doesn't really give us anything does it it's a full moon man it's a full moon I actually managed to snap quite some pictures with the full moon with my new phone I have the Samsung S uh, 20 and uh, yeah the moon looks really nice I always wanted to buy myself um, going to add these purples here and then it gives it a bit of a more 3d look and it ties the colors together so I always wanted to have a telescope so I can watch the moon through. But um, yeah, it. I never bought one. <laughs> I actually made a research once. Uh, and uh, that was very funny. But a good telescope that can see when, especially when you are in the city, because there's the light pollution. Uh, it's very hard to come by so I mean it will cost quite some money um, and I wasn't really ready <laughs> to pay that amount of money to be honest so yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm tying the colors together making sure that we have some purple in our moon and then we're gonna do the craters everything du, 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 du. where else do I think some pink will be needed always underneath these flowers because this is where the reflection is going to be or you know the shadows are going to be so we need to take care of that And this is a technique called glazing. This is how we do it. We, we glaze and that means we add layers of colors on top of each other even though they are different colors. And, and the, um, instead of mixing on your palette and instead of mixing the color, uh, how you do it uh, is you're mixing it um, on paper basically. And this gives you a different effect than what you would normally have. Okay, this is what glazing is basically. Like I could have mixed the purple with the yellow on my palette and gotten something similar, but actually uh, it's much more dramatic when you do it on the paper. Okay. Okay, I've darkened on the um, around it. It looks already much much better. I need a little bit of purple here done, just to darken certain parts here. Maybe I should have used brown, but let's see how that goes. Okay. And in here, going to darken things up. Yep. So where do I want? I want um, a crater kind of in this direction and one here like this. And then I'm going to do some smaller ones like that. And I'm just going to use and utilize 
um, the Kunaka Dome. Because the moon has these spots that look like there are actually craters, right? And they are darker. So when we are building up the moon, we're going to do these spots that are darker using the same color, but on only darker shades. So that's why I'm using the yellow. I'm gonna use this yellow here as well. I'm gonna do a crater. And I'm gonna do some smaller ones. And maybe you know the impact side needs to look like that so I'm gonna do it like even here The moon doesn't need to have a rhyme and reason for what you're doing. The moon can be any moon. I mean, it doesn't have to be the moon that you know, right? It doesn't have to be the earth moon. It can be somebody else's moon, to be honest. So... You can have different craters and different different things. And I'm going to go with even more darker color and try to make the shadows inside the crater look proper. Okay. I oh, know, almost ready, almost ready. So we can also do something like this. This is kind of a crater, but um, you know, like this. But it's not the full one, you know. So we are doing the graders. I'm I'm hoping that everybody um, enjoyed today, because yeah, I really am enjoying doing this kind of uh, illustrations, and it's always fun. It's always fun to do this. Okay. I, I just need to let it dry and then I'll see where I have to, you know, do some more. But what do you guys think so far? Marlena says, wonderful and the colors are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Maybe I'll dip in some of the brown here in the middle. Dun, dun, dun. I don't want everything to look the same color. So, deepening some of the things here, here and there. 
right? And maybe, maybe what we needed is um, tiny one here. That is just behind this flower. Just to give it a bit more spunk. And then deepen up here the color a little bit more. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking I need a little bit more on the leaves because some of them are a bit disappearing. So I need a second layer for the leaves. That's okay. We can definitely do a second layer. And this is the nickel azo, and we're gonna do it here. Some of these leaves, yeah, require a little bit more darker colors, and maybe a little bit more darker colors here on the, on the margin. Um, In the middle I need I need more olive green and then a little bit more yellow here just to complement the color. And the nice yellow in the leaves is good because it kinda brings in the yellow of the moon, right? So that's something that you always should have a look at. And I'm just going to have so much fun trying to do this. And then this more blue, more blue green. And a little bit more red to this side. I think that's what is needed. Blue green here. And red. So this is how we did the first one in the series. I still have to do all the other ones and I'm hoping to finish them some more this week and some more designs. Um, yeah, but they're important part of what I do, right? Um, this is eight o'clock. I am done with this. I don't want to uh, work it a little bit more because um, I might just ruin it, right? Um, I'm just going to let... Um, I'm just going to let the colors and everything dry out and then I'll, I'll think some more if I add some black dots or something just for the texture. Um, but all in all, thank you so much for watching with me and for staying till the end. If you haven't done so, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, give me a like because the more likes I get, um, the more this video is being uh, recommended to people. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, nice to have, but thank you so much for being here um, on the stream tonight and helping me uh, make this piece. Um, I really like to work with everybody uh, that is around me. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below, okay? Because I'm always watching the comments and answering questions. So, thank you so much.